the GPAS strategic plan. So, and this presentation is given on behalf of the GPAS strategic plan committee, composed by, the, by these colleagues, Alison Prado, Dedra Bankerman, Basara, Villahara, Richard Gross, Martin Senal, Harald Chu, and myself. Uh, why did we start to think about uh, the definition of a new GIGOS strategic plan? Um, the first reason is because the, the current strategic plan was released in 2014. To support this strategic plan, an implementation plan was designed for the years 2014 to 2016. And it was stopped there, and we are continuing working based on this implementation plan. And in 2019, the IEG released a strategic document where all the components of the IEG are evaluated and some recommendations are given to go in line with the new strategy, and there are concrete recommendations for GIGOS that are not considered in the strategic plan of 2014. And there is a new governance in, uh, structure in, in the international context. And then this is uh, the creation of the subcommittee of geodesy at the UN level, and the recently established Global Geodetic Center of Excellence uh, in March, March, uh, March this year. So, the, the IEG strategic uh, 2019 document and the new government's uh, structure are not considered in the strategic plan. And it's important that there is some complementation of these initiatives because we talk um, for the IEG, we talk for GIGOS, we talk for the UNGGIN or for the Subcommittee of Geodesy, and we talk also for the Global Geodetic Center of Excellence. And there, there are many, many entities, but the people is, are always the same. So we are very few people working on the same topics and trying to face many, many problems. This is important to optimize the resources to go forward with all these initiatives. So um, we conducted a strategic plan survey from July, uh, July to September in 2022. And this, this survey consisted of closed questions and uh, seven SWOT uh, questions. About 70 colleagues uh, from these, um, from 32 countries answered this GIGO survey. Uh, 71 involved with the IEG and 34% uh, involved with the, the UN subcommittee on Jurassic. Uh, the, the 70 answers to the 6 plus 7 to the 13 uh, uh, questions were everyone read it and analyzed and summarized by Marty. This was a huge, a huge work because it was um, some answers was very long, were very long, others not so long, but Martin has to read these answers, I don't know, 10 times or something like that. And he, he made an, uh, a summary of the answers, and based on the output from Martin, we had a dedicated workshop in Munich to identify the main goals and objectives for the next, let's say, 10 years. So, the overarching strategic priorities of GIGOS are exactly the same that were defined in 2011 and confirmed in 2014, and now we continue working so this is the, they are our guidance in the long term. Geodetic information and expertise, global geodetic infrastructure, standardization, integration and optimization, and communication, education, and outreach. That is the, the, the long term priorities for use. For the goals, uh, we could uh, condensate all all recommendations given in the strategic plan survey in four goals visibility and engagement, science policy, science policy networking, capacity, capacity and enhancement and sustainability, and uh, comprehensive and grass cutting analysis. They are the four 
main goals, and for each goal, we can identify four objectives, focuses in innovation, advocate, communication, and integration. Uh, the first goal is mainly related to advocate geodesy, advocate for geodesy in major frameworks such as the Global Observation System Systems, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and other UN initiatives. Uh, and here the idea is to, to interact with other earth sciences and with initiatives um, giving a policy frame to this initiative, uh, to this uh, interaction uh, of the earth sciences. Uh, I think the most important here is to make clear that genetic data and products are strategic in all global and regional initiatives to measure and mitigate the effects of global change. Uh, the second goal focuses on the, on the complementation between the IDG or GICOS with the United Nations Global Genetic Reference Frame. So how IDG can support the activities of the Ensemble Committee on Geodesy and the Global Geodetic Center of Excellence, and, and how IDG or GICOS can benefit from these activities. Uh, the, the, the UN global, uh, the, this UN Global Genetic Center of Excellence is a great opportunity for the IEG because they, they, uh, they can approach the governments to get money or to, to get funding for genetic infrastructure. We, IEG or GIGOS, don't have to do it. They can do it and they have human resources and financial resources and the ways to talk directly with the, with the government governments and policy makers and funding uh, sources. Okay, uh, the, the third goal is uh, more oriented to the um, objectives of the Bureau of Networks and Observations and focuses uh, in supporting the improvement, sustainability and enhancement of the global genetic infrastructure. Uh, the goal four is more oriented to the objectives of the Bureau of Standards and Products, so uh, in, in unifying on a standardization in the analysis uh, and, um, and generation of products uh, in the frame of the IEG, uh, identification of new products, and how to enhance the understanding and utilization of integrated cross-technic geodetic error observations, combining geodesy with other error observation technologies. And here there are two main aspects to be, to be developed. One is the GIGOS portal and one is top show for geodetic products. And the second one is the implementation of the so-called uh, geodetic essential variables. Uh, what, are, what are we doing now? Uh, a first uh, draft of the strategic plan was distributed to the old GIGOS consortium and GIGOS coordinating board uh, to get comments or feedback from the members of these two um, managing bodies and this orbit ended in June uh, last year. Now we are preparing a nice version of the document with, with a nice ad work and this is a, a big dream by, by Alison. Uh, once the, this nice presentation is ready, uh, we plan to convene a virtual meeting of the GIGOS Governing Board and the GIGOS Science Panel to present the new strategic plan. Uh, the members of these two, these two boards should read the, the, the strategic plan and give recommendations, suggestions, whatever. Um, uh, and approve, approve or, or refine the, the strategic plan. Uh, when the, when the, the strategic plan approved, we have, or we will, we will submit it to the IEG executive, executive committee, also to get feedback from, from the colleagues in the, in the executive committee. 
And once this is done, uh, we want to convene a second virtual meeting to talk about the implementation plan. You know, without implementation plan and strategic plan are only nice ideas and hopes. We need to realize the strategic plan and this can be done only with concrete actions. Uh, we are proposing to have an implementation plan uh, in phases of two years. So we will define action on activities for two years. Each action will be assigned to one genus component, probably two. At the end of the first year, uh, we will make a progress assessment and define if it's going okay or if necessary to, to make some regulations. And at the end of the second year, we will, we will make a second a progress assessment and decide which, which um, actions should be continuing and which actions should be um, integrated. Uh, in previous uh, implementation plans, it was uh, decided that each legal component has its own implementation plan. Now we are proposing only one implementation plan and uh, with the contribution of the different GIGOS components and the, pro the proposed uh, actions uh, we are really <laughs> trying to follow, to follow the SMART the criteria a specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time bound. Uh, we don't want to put the goals very high because when we are Ambitions uh, probably we will fail. So step by step, a small action, a small action, and all together will be for sure a great achievement. And I think this is my last slide. I don't know if you have some comments or questions. Or... Thank you.